I'm doing a Lady Gaga inspired book. I was really inspired by her makeup at the A Star Is Born premiere. So it was amazing. This is a really easy tutorial and I just thought it's really nice, really glam, really cute. And this wig just really reminded me of her hair because she's got like... It is hashtag clockable. Can someone like help me? Because all the wigs, I, all the other wigs I have, they have like, they're flat with a middle part and this one's like... Which is perfect because this is what I need for this look, but it's like wiggy. Oh, I really want my hair to be like this. I think I would cut off two of my toes to just have my hair permanently like this forever. Just two though. I'm just taking my Origins moisturiser, it's literally gone, but... If you see me looking up, like here's me looking at the lens, if you see me looking like this, my screen's up, not to like to the side, and I don't have a mirror, so I'm trying to do this without looking. I'm also going to take this um, super drug vitamin C skin booster. If you want to see what skincare products I use, I have a video up on my channel now, nine months overdue. I'm, I haven't got tan on at the moment and all my foundations are like, like dark if I put them on my face I look really orange and the only one I've got is this Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk this is literally like so old I've had this for so long why did I glitch like that? it's the only, this is in the shade like 2, it's so pale I've got the Kat Von D one but so I'm just using this Sorry to be annoying because I know this is like, I think it's like £40. So I'm just going to blend that in with a Morphe sponge. I need a mirror. Could... Great. <laughs> I just want my skin to look really natural. Flawless. Seamless. Nice. Red carpet already. Oh god, someone in the comments, my last video was really mad at me because I like put foundation over my brows. But does it matter what people like? It literally doesn't matter. Sometimes I'll do my whole face and makeup and do my eyebrows last. Sometimes I'll do my eyebrows first. Sometimes I'll do carve my brows out, then do my brows. Does that even make sense? Probably not, but I do it. When I like know how to put a wig on properly, I might do a wig video because I've literally accumulated like seven or eight now in like a month. It's crazy. I'm living for it because if you know me, I have a problem with dyeing my hair or touching my hair in general. I can't help it. What was that? That just whip. Um, but I'm going strong. I haven't dyed my hair since like February, I think. I dyed it pink. No one saw it though, because I, I actually bought a wig for makeup looks. <laughs> um, yeah, but I've had blonde hair literally all this year. That is the biggest achievement ever. That's why I cut all my hair off, because it was just killing me. And my hair was the same. Hello. Oh, my eyelids are a bit stained. Because I did, what look did I do yesterday? Oh, I had purple eyeshadow. Oh my god, it's okay. It's a car. I was literally just thinking in my head, are we gonna go a whole video with our voices in the background and then that happened? Just blending that out. Can't even get cellar tape or box. So I'm just gonna take the spoonie and brush all my brow hairs up. It's so hot in this wig. See, I haven't had long hair for months. I forgot what this is like. Here she is. So. Her brows are quite filled in, so we're going to go for that. This is in the shade Ash Brown. I'm going to take a brow gel. What brow gel is closest? I'm taking the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Filler. Brow 
and I was all done. I'm gonna do my bronzer. Guess what bronzer I'm taking? I need to break on this one, but this is the shade that I use, and this is the one I want. I put too much bronzer on my nose, but it's fine. It's fine, don't panic. Okay, now I'm gonna take a bit of um, loose powder. Why did I just say the loose powder? I don't know why I just did that, I just pulled it on my hand. What's wrong with me? So that's the Beauty Bakery. Flower powder. I'm just gonna press it into the skin. And I think there's a grey here. Okay, dip it into that. This is just like a little base because the whole lid is literally just gonna have silver all over it. Cool tone grey. Oh my god. So this is how I hold my brush. You want to hold it like right at the end, so it's like flimsy. You don't want to hold it like this. You want to hold it right at the end, like like this, and just barely touch your eye. This is the technique, the glitz liquid glitter eyeshadow, and it's in a silver shade. I'm not going to do. I'm just going to press it on the back of my hand. I'm just going to pat that in. Like that. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, so I'm just gonna keep building that up. I don't know what it looks like layered, like I don't know how this works. I don't want it to go all bricky. Oh it's so nice. I really love the grey underneath as well, that's I feel like that's important to do that. I'm just going to take that same brush and I've gone a bit too high, I'm just going to blend that. Actually, I might mix, I've got it in another shade, I've got this in, I don't know what shade it is, it's like a smoky. I might mix it with the silver one. Don't ask me why I'm using the crease brush, I'm lazy. Oh, yeah, so I'm mixing it to make it a bit darker. Oh, I love it. Oh, powder on, I put powder on. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh my god, I literally look like a Disney character. Why do I look like I'm at sunburn? Like, what have I done? I'm gonna take this Power Stick by Sigma. This is the bloody good lipstick. What has happened there? I'm gonna take <sighs> Dazed from Anastasia. Just on the outer bit. First I'm going to apply some Iconic London Illuminating Drops. I'm going to take the I'm Rosy Highlighter from Anastasia. I'm just going to go over the top of that. Gaga's quite highlighted. I'm just going to run under my eyes with that grey shade. I'm also going to take the silver stuff. I run that under my eyes as well. So that is the finished look. Oh, I really like it. It's just really simple but really cute. I really like it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!